Welcome, in this quick video, I'm gonna give you a very simple overview of your site owner control panel. I'm gonna walk through all the options and give you a very quick rundown of all the options that are available to you. Now, this is the same site owner control panel that you use to manage each and every one of your membership sites. I'm not gonna go in depth in all of these settings, however, I will give you a quick rundown, so let's get started. The first thing is when you log into your very first site owner control panel, you'll see that we have a getting started guide. All you gotta do is complete these simple required items and you'll have a ready and complete membership site set up in no time. With that said, let's go ahead and, and go through all the options that are available to you. The first thing is the settings page. The settings page allows you to change items like the name of your membership site, the default reply to email for all the system sent emails. You can input any disclaimer text that you wanna show up on the footer of your website. You can customize your support options and you can even customize your head HTML. You can put in custom sidebar HTML and you can customize your search engine optimization settings. And if you want, you can even hide your site from showing up in the search engines. Make sure to press save whenever you customize any of the options throughout this control panel. The next page is the URLs page. Inside this section, you can customize the default subdomain where your membership site comes hosted at, or you can use a custom domain URL. To find instructions on how to do this, click on the instructions link to learn more. The next page we have is the look and feel page. This page allows you to customize things like your logos, your background images, footer logos, footer background images, and much, much more. You can go through the list and customize as many things as you want. We also allow you to customize the preview thumbnail that shows up on all your video players. And at the very bottom, you can also add in custom social links to your own owned social pages like your Twitter page, Facebook pages, LinkedIn, Google+, and so on. Once again, make sure to press save whenever you change any of these options. Now, the next page we have is the sales page options page. However, this section only works if you have at least one payment method enabled. If you don't have a payment method enabled, you will not be able to access this page unless you do so. Now, when you come to this page, you have three options currently. You can use the built-in sales page creator, you can disable public registration, or you can use a custom sales page URL of your choice. If you choose this top, this top option, you can go through and you can customize the default built-in sales page um, that is built into your membership site. The next option we have is the Facebook tool. If we click on this page, this takes us to this page and it allows us to set up what we call the Facebook group sync tool. This tool will sync members of your membership site into a private Facebook group. All of your active members will automatically get added into this Facebook group, and if those members ever become deactivated or canceled, or they lose access to your membership site, they will also automatically be removed from your private Facebook group. It's a very cool tool, and a lot of people use this. To learn more, go ahead and search for Facebook Group Sync Tool in our uh, ongoing documentation. The next tab we have is the Payment Options tab. This tab allows you to enable multiple payment processors. You can enable either one or the other or enable both at the same time. Stripe is our default built-in merchant account that comes free with your membership service. This is also required if you want to have free membership plans. It's also required to enable if you want to use the built-in sales page options. So you will need to enable Stripe to continue to have more functionality. Another payment option you can enable is jvzoo.com. This allows you to process payments with PayPal and or authorize.net. It also allows you to run and manage your own affiliate program. And yes, once again, you can enable both of these payment methods at the same exact time. Now, once you enable these payment methods, it will give you more options. For example, if you enable Stripe, you will have this link right here that says stripe.com, and this will allow you to use the built-in shopping cart. You can manage and create payment plans, you can view a history of all your orders. You can view a history of all your current and active canceled and active subscriptions. For example, if you're selling monthly payments, all of your monthly active customers and canceled customers will show up here. You can create coupon codes. You can also int integrate with other email providers, such as GetResponse, Aweber, One Shopping Cart, Infusionsoft, and MailChimp, and more. And you can customize the settings um, of your guarantee policy here. Now, if you've enabled JVZoo, a new option will show up here, and you can 
go ahead and customize your JVZoo settings. You can also view a history of all your JVZoo orders by clicking on this tab right here. One thing I forgot to mention is back under the Payment Options tab, we have an advanced option and if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, we have a little checkbox right here that says Show Advanced Options. If we click this, this enables even more advanced options to show up for your account. This will give you access to um, unlock hidden options available to you like membership levels and more. Once you check that box, a new tab will show up. If we click on that link, this will allow you to create different membership levels so when you're creating your payment plans, you can assign your customers to certain membership levels and give them access to only certain content within your membership site. Once again, it's only available if you check that box. The next tab we have is the Users tab. The Users tab allows you to manage all of your membership users. From this section, you can view all of your current membership users. You can manually create new users. You can create multiple users by mass inviting multiple people. And you can also export your users. To create content, just go to the Content tab. This allows you to manage all of your content in one simple location. You can manage your home page tabs, you can manage your blog categories, you can create blog posts, and you can also manage your courses. The next tab we have is the questions tab. Now, this feature allows you to enable what we call the ask a question feature. You can also disable it, or you can enable it by leaving this checkbox unchecked. If you want to disable it, just check this box and it's automatically removed from your membership site. If you do have it enabled though, this will allow people to send in questions and you can answer them here. You can view unanswered questions, you can view your answered questions, and you can view your published questions. The next and last section we have is called System Pages. This allows you to customize the look and feel of your login page, your thank you page, and your registration page. By clicking on the edit buttons here, you can input custom code or HTML code to add additional items to each one of these pages. For example, if you wanted to put in a pixel tracker on your thank you page, you would simply click on the edit button right here and you could paste in pixel tracking code that would only show up on your thank you page. One thing to notice um, is as you're going through your site and you're customizing items of your membership site, if you ever want to preview your membership site, you can click on the title of your membership site right here. This will take you to a very simple preview of your membership site. If you want to go back into the Manage section, click on the Manage section right here. And as you're customizing content and changing things, always look up here in the top right hand corner of this, um, of this black bar. This will allow you to be able to jump back in between uh, managing your site and viewing your site, managing your site and viewing your site. And these options up here will change accordingly depending on what, on what page you're on.